Well, the game crashed. Who the fuck was that back there? But we're back. Everything's I don't fine. Know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy going to shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He was going to shoot. <laughs> see? I told you, asshole. What was I supposed to do? Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. Ooh. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? We should scavenge that station. He said there was food and supplies. You want to bring that up, Clementine? Pete or Nick? Either one? Or right, Pete's dead. Hey, Clem. You got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry. I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Ah. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. Sure. Thanks, Clem. All right, let's go on a food run. You go talk to him real quick. See what's up. Thanks for backing me up, Clem. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Look, he's becoming a danger to the group. <laughs> Who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. He was just a guy. Yeah. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? I stole it back at the cabin. <laughs> Here, you can have Thank it back. You. This means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Alright, look at us making peace with people. Alright, so we got a window. Anything around the corner here before we go in? Nope. Okay. Let's look through the window first. This is a zombie apocalypse after all. You just don't want to start opening up doors. Yeah, dude had a nice setup in here, man. A little cot. Nice view. And you can see intruders coming from miles away with that bridge. Okay. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. Ah, uh, open. I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. All right, let's see if we can find a key, I guess. Well, that knife should work. Feels pretty good. All right, well, we've got a weapon. Good, good, good. Let's see if we can use it on this. Yes, we can. Hopefully, we don't break it. Nice. Okay, what do we have? Got some books and some food. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. <laughs> I know you said the guy drew on him first, but Nick was running up like a damn fool. I would have drawn on him too. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. He keeps on like that, he's going to get one of us killed. I mean, you ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Nope. <laughs> 
Let's give him the Bambi eyes. Yeah, well, Nick's going to be a problem. Something's <clears throat> got to be done. Sorry, guys. My throat's a little scratchy today. If you keep hearing me clear my throat, it's annoying. I apologize. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. That's you fucked up, man. just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... The whole group should decide. Yeah. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. You're just gonna take the food anyways. The hell is that? Uh-oh. Whoa, zombie horde. Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Nobody ever says zombies in The Walking Dead. It's like a whole thing. They always say walkers or something else. Never zombies. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. You're the one who got like pregnant. Anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. <laughs> oh. Clem. She's awesome. Guess we're going up to get a bird's eye view. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Har, har, har. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Let's look down. It won't let me look down. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. <laughs> Don't look down. And then he says, just look at me, you're fine. There's a crow up here. Eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Wow, that's nice. Good view. Made it. You see anything? All right, I'm going to look around first to see where all the points of interest are before I start clicking, just in case there's an Easter egg or something that we missed. Just looks like two points of interest. All right, we'll start with the furthest one away. It's really dark. Oh, I see a flashlight out there. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Oh, shit. What's going on down here? People got guns drawn on each other. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. <gasps> it's Kenny! No fucking way! Yes! <laughs> That is awesome. This guy. Clementine? Yes, you get a hug, Kenny. Oh my god, yes. 
That is so awesome. If you didn't watch season one, you have no idea who Kenny is. This is amazing, though. This is amazing. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, hell yes. A familiar face, finally. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Oh, well, I got goosebumps! If you've been watching this series and you know how the story unfolds, you would have goosebumps right now. This is incredible. So, achievement unlocked, old friends. Boy, poor Kenny, man. He went through a rough time in season one. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, Please make yourselves at home. Clem needs to tell everybody about the there. lights she saw approaching. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, <sighs> then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. I can't speak for everyone. Beck, it's their home. We're not going to find another place like this tonight. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. I can't vouch for any of these people. I barely know them. I mean, that dude's cool. The black guy's cool. But everyone else, I'm not so sure about. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Wow, this is pretty nice, man. This would be okay if it wasn't a zombie apocalypse. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, oh. shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? Yeah. He saved me. I think I'll be nice I to Kenny, it. for sure. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? After Lee, I was alone. I found Krista and Omid, but it didn't last. They're both gone now. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh...
And then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Oh, hell no. Stay in sight, sweetie. Oh, wow. Carlos let Can her go. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? I think Clementine has completely forgotten about the flashlight she saw in the woods. I have not, on the other hand, and will not be surprised when we're all robbed and raped. Hey, Clementine. Except Settling for Clementine, well of course. Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. I manage just fine. Yeah, I'm gonna be now mean you to really you. do sound like one of my students. Cause I don't know you. And you sound like a teacher. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Teacher with some sweet sideburns. Mm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? I think I will. Um, yes. Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Hmm. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Look around the lodge. Alright, let's see what we can find, guys. Doesn't seem to be. Let's see if we can get behind this. Oh, here we go. Here's some stuff. Let's just take it. Cousin Jared's concert, October thirteenth, nineteen ninety eight. And music. Why don't you get me a copyright strike? Nothing happened. Oh. You know what we can do? We can put the CD in there. Crazy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, where's this? Oh, CD is in there. It's playing very softly. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I may have my music turned down just because YouTube is evil. I want to. There was something I could look at over here, but the camera view changed. There we go. Right there. Reminds me of school. Okay. Dun 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 Christmas time and Christmas time La 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 They're singing over here if you can't hear them What's this song humming. you're humming? Good King Wenceslas It's my favorite Christmas song What's it about? Well, I haven't seen one of these since It's about food to a poor man The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to hey, Clem, talk. we could use some help Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. This is Kenny's girlfriend, so I'll be nice to her, too. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Hmm. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Okay. Find a tree topper, so we're looking for an angel or something. We'll put the CD player on top. Oh, a map. This might be important. It's the Lone Pine Winter Park Trail Map. Anything over here? Fireplace. Well, 
All right. Can't go that way. Oh, here we go. This could be our topper, maybe. No, that's just what a, a funny little guy. <clears throat> I guess we need to go back around. Oh, how about the stairs? Can we go up the stairs? Yeah, probably. Let's go up here. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? <laughs> Clem. Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Oh. Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I think someone was following us. How do you know? How does she know? We have to assume they're back there. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. All right, it's in the box. Oh, cool, that's what we need. Put that on top of the tree in a minute. I'm gonna back out and talk to her real quick before we do that. Can I back out? Mm. Well, let me back out. Let's do the tree thing first. You want a star or an angel? I would prefer a star, I think. What is this? That's just a decoration. Okay, we'll go with the star. Hopefully it'll let us go back and talk to the pregnant lady. Dink. It's beautiful. That's nice, I guess. <laughs> That's right, she beautiful. wanted an angel. Uh, I used to love this time of year. <laughs> I forgot. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Okay. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. I'm not drunk as fuck and yelling well, at everybody. Well, you been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Oh, there we go. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Okay, friends. Yeah, Kenny went through some tough times. I don't want to say anything. Some people might not have seen season one, but he certainly was grouchy for a very good reason. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not going to be easy. Oh, I, I like it's gonna be hard. I like Clem a little when she's sweet. Time, I'm having a hard time hitting these buttons I being a smart ass. A little less lonely because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Want to listen? Nope. That food smells good, huh? Gross. <laughs> I guess it is, isn't it? It's not his. 
Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. Oh, it must be that guy that's tracking I don't know what us. To do. Maybe? I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I... I wouldn't say anything. I will say something. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Let's go eat some beans. You okay, man? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Uh-oh. I'm the popular kid at school. What am I going to do? Go with old school Kenny? Or go sit to new guy? Oh, boy. Where do my loyalties lie? Kenny. Pretty easy choice. Here you go, Clem. <laughs> I feel so, so Clem, bad. Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Yeah, I trust Luke. Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. Uh, yeah, Luke, I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. You got goosebumps, Kenny? I got goosebumps. Awkward. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about diarrhea. I got it, Kenny. I get so you. So it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? I don't know much about it. It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clown? Hey, fuck you, buddy. Oh, it's shit. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Luke, listen to him. I have been, but... Kenny's my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Okay. Eat your peaches and beans and shut the fuck up. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> oh. Duck? Who's duck? No, no, no. Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Oh, poor Kenny, man. Duck was his son. That's all I'll say there. Sure, you can put two uh, and two together. I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? I want to stay with you and Kenny. 
Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? It's a good quote. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. I kind of like the teacher guy. I'm going to start being nice to him, too. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And Who is Matthew? Be hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? <clears throat> well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. Amen. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Let's go. Window patrol. Me and Kenny, like the old times. Oh. Who's this lucky little? Miss? 